Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you the new Bookshare Reader. This free tool has been in development for a few months, and the Bookshare team has taken your feedback and added new features that we are so excited to show you. Let's get started. First, I'm going to log into Bookshare.org with my username and password. Next, I'm going to search for a book. There are a variety of ways to search for a book, such as typing in a title into the search bar or using advanced search or browse. But for now, I'm going to go directly to my Bookshare page and my recent books and choose All About Me by Mel Brooks. To the right of the title I want to read, there is a blue Read Now button. And when I select that, it will launch Bookshare Reader. If you have used our previous version of Bookshare Reader, you will notice this user interface looks completely different. It has been streamlined and simplified to make your reading experience easy and enjoyable. Let's start with navigating around the book with the Table of Contents feature located at the bottom left side of your screen. You can select any chapter to navigate directly to that point in the text. This is convenient so you can quickly get to the place in the book you want or need to start reading. You can also enter a specific page number to jump directly to that page in the text. Next, let's explore the settings feature, which is the gear icon located at the top right side of your screen. The first option you will see is our quick settings tab. This will allow you to change a variety of settings quickly and in real time so you can see how the text changes and determine which settings are best for your reading experience. This was a feature that our users have been asking for and we are happy to provide it to you. You will see additional tabs at the top of this quick settings dialog box, including audio, text, page, and color. Within each of these tabs, you can fine tune these settings. Let's move through each one. In the audio tab, you can change all of the audio settings. The Bookshare Reader uses the voices that are native to your browser and the drop down menu will give you the voice options available to you. You can also adjust the speed with the plus or minus buttons or the slider bar. You can play a sample to hear what it will sound like. You can also choose to have the page numbers voiced out loud, as well as any image descriptions in the book. In the text tab, you have options to fine tune the text size using the plus or minus buttons, as well as the slider bar. You will see a reference number toward the far right side of the slider bar indicating the text size you chose. You can choose from a variety of font styles in the drop-down menu and change it to your preference. You can also choose the amount of space between each letter or character of the words in the text. In the Page tab, you can adjust the display format to pagiated or scrolling. Pagiated means the pages will appear side by side, as in a traditional book, where scrolling displays the pages vertically so that the pages appear as one long scrolling list. You can also adjust the margins and the spacing between each line of text. Finally, you can also choose to have the page numbers displayed. Last, in the Colors tab, you can use any of our preset color options or choose to customize exactly which colors you want to use for the background, the text, the sentence highlighting, and the word highlighting. If you would like to revert back to the default settings of the book, you can select the Reset to Default button on the bottom right side of the screen. Once you have customized your settings to your preferences, you can click the X on the top right side of the screen, and that will bring you back to the book. Let's get into reading the book. First, if you want to have the book read aloud to you using text-to-speech, 
you can select the play button located at the bottom center of your screen. You will see how the reader highlights the words and sentences as it is reading. Early on, one of my only connections to show business was an act. You can also click anywhere in the text to start reading from that spot. This is another feature our users asked for, the ability to click any point in the text and begin reading from there. You can also press the arrow keys at the right or left side of the play button to replay backwards or move forward in the text. The last two new features I want to demonstrate are the location feature and bookmarks, both located at the bottom right side of your screen. The location icon will tell you exactly where you are in the book. This is helpful to give you a reference point within the book and to ensure you are reading the correct section of the text. Our final feature is our bookmarks feature, which allows you to easily pick up reading where you left off. When you reach a point in the text where you want to add a bookmark, simply click the bookmark icon and an orange bookmark symbol will appear in the margin of the text. To find your bookmark again, select the book navigation menu in the bottom left side of your screen and select the bookmarks tab. This will display all the bookmarks you have in that book, as you can have multiple bookmarks at once, which was also a much requested feature. If you click on the bookmark, it will bring you directly back to that place in the text. That is our new Bookshare Reader. Thank you for choosing Bookshare. If you would like to learn more about Bookshare or any of our other tools, please visit the Training and Learning Center at Bookshare.org.